First impressions are always important, and Dan Sabella couldn't have done a much better job during his first season at Paramus Catholic. After missing the playoffs in 2015, the Paladins opened their season with a win at the University of Michigan. They then closed it by winning the non-public Group 4 state championship at MetLife Stadium. It was, it was, you know, these these kids are a lot of fun to coach. They're, they're, there's, there's a lot of talent here. Um, they love football. And it's, you know, like we tell them, it's about us. It's, it's not about one person. It's not about one player. It's about, you know, it's, it's about doing it together, doing it the right way, and, and being successful. The pipeline of tremendous talent continues in Paramus Catholic. With Jabril Peppers, a first-round pick in the NFL draft by Cleveland, and Rashawn Gary primed for a huge season in Michigan, the wave of next D1 talent is ready to make its mark in 2017. We're all proud. We're all proud to see those guys go on and be as successful as they as, as they become. And it's a, it's a motivating tool for a, for a lot of our guys because there's a lot of guys in, in, in the room who, who want to follow in their footsteps and want to be the, be the next one to go on and, and make their mark like that. Dorian Hardy is a four-star defensive end who transferred from St. Joe's Montville. He is given a verbal commitment to play in the Big Ten at Penn State University. I mean, just the comfort. It felt like a family there. I knew once my mom dropped me off to go to college, I, I would be set straight. I mean, they just seemed like they cared the most about me, and I just it was an um, opportunity I couldn't pass up. Jarrett Paul is another D1 commit that says he will take part in the secondary at Rutgers University. During his senior season at Paramus, he will use his length and athleticism at wideout and defensive back. Running back Jonathan Clark brings versatility to the team. He had over 1,100 all-purpose yards, sharing the load with now-graduated Eliza Jackson. Clark is already in the recruiting radar and has the talent to be one of New Jersey's top rushers in 2017. What I'm really looking for in a school is just a school that's going to push me to develop as a man on and off the field. That's really going to make me focus in the classroom and just keep me uh, disciplined and in line. I talk to Central Michigan a lot. Marshall and Kent State, like, they're a lot you know, in the rotation and everything. The Paladins averaged just under 33 points per game last year, winning 10 games total. Paramus Catholic opens the season in Pennsylvania this year with a Saturday night matchup at Archbishop Wood. On September 29th, the team has a showdown with St. Peter's Prep and a rematch of last year's state title game. Motivation is no problem for this team, seeing as they are hungry to match last year's stellar season. Uh, just no one has to go into it. Like last year, we all saw that we were struggling in the beginning of the summer. Like, you know, everybody thought that we were going to be good again, and we just built off of that. We built off that negativity, just like this year. They're ranking us lower than everybody else. We're just going to feed off of that and get better. You know, it's about getting better. It's about coming together as a team. It's about building that chemistry. And usually, if you, if you do that, the rest of, you know, winning and all that other stuff takes care of itself. So uh, that's where we're at right now. Reporting from Paramus Catholic, I'm Courtney DuPont. Stay tuned for later in the week for more highlight packages across the state right here at Jersey Sports Zone.